Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon and uh, Aquarius Rising monthly tarot reading for February 2019 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards uh, I want to remind you once again guys that that is going to be a, a general reading for Aquarius star sign and for that reason uh, in this video I will try my best to explain you the uh, meanings of the cards as well they are synergy in the spread but uh, and I'm going to give you a few examples here so I can make uh, my points to go across but uh, ultimately at the end you will have to align your situation uh, with the reading just like I'm doing for the examples here in the video now if you want me to do that for you or in other words to analyze your situation through tarot and to give you a uh, prediction for the future regarding it just like I'm doing for the examples here uh, that will be a subject of a personal reading and uh, for personal readings uh, you can check out my website uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing this also is going to be an enhanced tarot spread and which means that we are going to draw a additional card per position so uh, it looks like quite of a uh, exhilarating uh, month and to be honest I do feel that this is more like a, a career oriented than a uh, relationship uh, oriented and uh, even though we do have a lot of cups cards uh, the uh, why I'm thinking that that is the case is because that guy here or this is your attitude and uh, that attitude has nothing to do with emotions it's more like a professional attitude all right so what it's most likely to happen throughout the months is that a, a severe improvement is to happen into your career environment um, especially for those which are uh, jobless and they are seeking for job. The Ace of Cups here is um, pointing or rather revealing that a, an extraordinary opportunity for you to start a, a job that you are going to like quite a lot is going to present itself to you. And uh, of course presenting itself you will also need to put the efforts behind it so you can seize and grab it you know I mean presenting it doesn't mean that it's going to be yours regardless right so basically you also have to have to help it guys uh, the card that accompanies the um, Ace of Cups here, that is going to be uh, the High Priestess, and the High Priestess is a card, it's another water card, and it's a card of, uh, of stillness, or in this case, of uh, uh, it's interpreted as a, a long period of time. Now when we talk about the High Priestess regarding career, it does mean a couple of things. In case you work, um, you're working right now uh, this card reveals that uh, your position into your career is only going to uh, consolidate and uh, stabilize even further and also through those new circumstances which could manifest through new project you know or through opportunity for you to be promoted and etc etc um, <clears throat> the, the high priestess takes a role as a uh, how can I place it as an enterprises which are going to be um, developed in the long term right so if you are afraid that you will be left without anything to do into your uh, career especially if you do have a private business that it is unlikely to be the case and in the same time it's not going to be stressful guys I mean you will enjoy uh, the nature of the work that you are will have to perform <clears throat> at your career and uh, etc etc on top of that these cards are pointing that you are going to have a, a very deep sense if I may express myself that, na that, that way in the nature of the situation or in the nature of the problem uh, and I'm saying problem because in our jobs we solve problems otherwise you know <laughs> Uh, our employer is not, no, is not going to need us 
<clears throat> so yeah, it's basically you will have that acute sense of the nature of the project and uh, seemingly out of nowhere you will basically kind of know how you should approach the situation and how you should act upon it as well. But all in all it does look like that this is going to be rather exhilarating and peaceful time career wise for you which is going to be dappled with a, a lot of um, happy coincidences and, and, and um, fortunate circumstances which are only going to offer you growth and if you hate your job these cards are pointing that these circumstances are going to make your job much more enjoyable. The next card that we are going to have here this is going to be the King of Swords which is the attitude or the way how you should approach the situation and as I said that is a, a very professional way. It is more like a uh, being well, I, well, the word is again professional, but I will try to explain you uh, what I mean here is that you always kind of like a um, be above the things, all right? Being capable to um, to accurately analyze the, the situation, the project, the people around it, and etc., etc., and at the end through a uh, careful analyze of uh, the options available in front of you you know to make the best possible decision or the best possible um, the best possible approach toward the project or toward the situation it is important to know here that with the king of swords uh, you should how can i place it uh, you should have everything around you uh, in the um, in the field of uh, being expandable. What I mean is that because some uh, co-workers of yours are going to uh, adopt different opinion for you from the negative side, that's, that should not obstruct you to do the right thing for the sake of the project itself or for the sake of the promotion that you can get if you, um, if you can get my point here. So for example uh, Let's say that this offers you a, a very uh, exhilarating project here, something that you would love to do, you know, but you are a, a partner with somebody into your career. You're working together. However, your boss is telling you that uh, if you go and uh, kind of like take on this project, you cannot work with that person, right? And uh, if you take on the project and you no longer work with that person, they may kind of be mad at you, all right? And so this is kind of the situation I'm talking about. You got to make that decision for the sake of the project and your personal development rather than for the, uh, for the maintaining the uh, good attitude or rather like a friendship positions uh, into your career. Because guys, you're going to work to make money, not to make friends. That is and an important standpoint especially for the king of swords uh, the accompanied card here this is going to be the two of wands which points that um, you should uh, how can i place it here um, you should aim always above um, one step ahead of uh, uh, of your expectations and as well of uh, what it is offered to you as a reward especially reward wise for example if your boss is tells you that they're going to pay you uh, X amount of money, you should ask for Y amount of money, which uh, or Y amount of money, which Y amount of money should be higher than the X amount of money. So it's all about a, um, <clears throat> a matter of negotiations. And on top of that, with the two of wands, it is important to uh, try to uh, kind of like have as much control as possible um, upon uh, upon this exhilarating situation and you should not allow anybody to influence it apart from yourself and on top of that with uh, the two of wands uh, you should always aim to perform better you know you kind of like even though your work could be exceptional you should you should adopt the, the standpoint that there is always a room for improvement uh, <clears throat> career wise now at the end of this reading, I, I'm not forgetting those which are lonely here, alright? At the end of the reading, I'm going to give as well an example for a, a love interpretation. But seriously, I do think that this is a 99% a, a, a career reading. 
So the next card that we do have, this is going to be the Seven of Wands with the Seven of Swords. And we have double seven and seven is the number of knowledge, seven is the number of insight, seven is the number of, uh, of intelligence as well and etc. And also it's a psychic number, right? <clears throat> so with these cards here, uh, the, the challenge or the predicament is that you may go a bit ahead of yourself feeling cocky because you think you know it all all right and because you think that's um, kind of like um, rolling it over in your mind you're imagining it that things are going to happen according to certain plans and if you do a, a certain um, performance or rather take certain actions things are going to develop exactly the way that you are expecting, well, that may not be the case. So it's very important, once again, to be very analytic here and very calculative. Grounded, that is the thing, because <clears throat> you may get ahead of yourself. That is going to be the whole challenge here uh, with these cards. On top of that, uh, your milder nature is going to be a, a problem as well, all right? Uh, basically what these cards here are pointing is that you should learn how to say no. Especially if uh, that example with a co-worker of yours is in place, alright? You should learn how to say not just no, you know, but how to discern friendship from business relationship. Alright? These couple of cards <clears throat> are uh, pointing that the more... Uh, how can I place it? The, the more trust is placed in you, the more cockier you are going to become. And that is going to be a grave mistake again. Uh, while it is good, you know, to have a high expectations and to uh, daydream about big results, which are going to be achieved one way or another, you know, uh, yet again, you have to start from the small things first. You need to attend to the, to the minor details first before you can actually you know scope the the grand scheme of things or the bigger picture going for the bigger picture straight away most likely you are going to end up disappointed because there will be a, a predicaments here and there which is go which are going to obstruct you of do whatever you are after into your career uh, or to flawlessly perform your project or your work and you will have to backtrack your actions so you can now attend to those predicaments and then return once again to the grand scheme of things so once again the problem here is is that you will have the affinity to get ahead of yourself and once again I will backtrack here to the high priestess which is pointing the uh, of a place of stillness or rather like a, a string of events so you have to follow the string of events rather than going uh, rather str than straining two steps ahead for the straight of one the next card that we do have, this is going to be the star card. And as uh, we are reading for Aquarius, the star card represents Aquarius as well. But in general, um, guidance wise, um, <clears throat> this card is pointing that there won't be any, there won't be a problem there that you're going to face with this new enterprise of yours that you cannot resolve. It's all about maintaining your positive attitude and it's all about asking for help if you feel that you need such, all right? Because um, here, more than anything, stands the sentence that if you don't ask for something, the answer always is going to be no, you know? Just because you struggle and you think that people are seeing you struggling doesn't mean that they are going to offer you a helping hand. You first need, need to ask for that helping hand and that helping hand is going to be uh, given to you. Additionally to that, just because you may face a little bit of a predicament, that should not make you resign from the... Um, from the activity here because the star card it is pointing that this is going to be a long-term thing all right uh, this project is going to put a um, how can I place it or this enterprise here regarding your career is going to put a, a foundation for a, a long-term development and as enterprise I mean that could be again a, a new job a new project promotion it does depend on your personal situation all right 
or new team work as well that you will have to most likely abandon your old team and etc etc but uh, once involving into it you know being capable to learn new methods being capable to learn new strategies and uh, kind of like being a, a team player as well that is also very important it's going to, as I said, give you the foundation for a, a long-term development as the star card is all about that, you know, having one mm, kind of focus or a fulcrum that it is in a long distant future and uh, working forward to it until that thing materializes. And the star card could be very well a, a guidance here giving you a, a glimpse of, um, it's not even of a hope, but let's say of confirmation that if you are after a promotion this enterprise is the very first step for you to reach that promotion so uh, you should attend it with a, a great sense or and a great amount of responsibility for that matter the five of pentacles is this point that you may feel a little bit awkward uh, there you know as it is a brand new thing uh, that you are going to attend to a brand new thing that you're going to cope with and that is completely fine uh, it's just uh, guys uh, do not uh, how can i place it you know do not discourage yourself just because at the start you are uh, kind of like um facing a bit of woes here and there and facing a bit of problems that you haven't anticipated you know if you kind of calm yourself down and you think straight you being grounded and you being logical calculative and etc etc uh, you will find the resolution of those predicaments in no time which again is going to open you the door for a long-term development here and at the end what we do have this is going to be the ten of pentacles followed with the six of uh, uh, the uh, the ten of cups excuse me with the six of pentacles so what these cards are pointing is that you are going to fall in the place exactly where you belong basically that's that so uh if you are kind of working in a company and uh you belong in a place that it is higher than the place that you're working right now well you are going to fall into the place where you belong as I said so you are gonna get promoted what these cards are pointing is that the hierarchy into your career is going to be um, how can I, restored alright and if you belong into the higher ladder of the hierarchy the higher ladder of the hierarchy it is where you are gonna place yourself at the end of uh, at the end of this month additionally these cards are pointing that your uh, projects your situations and in general your work is going to normalize here at the end of the month and is going to proceed on forth completely normal harmonious and on top of that you will have the chance to also incorporate some creative visions in it also uh, these cards are pointing that you will find resolutions to a lot of your problems that you have previously faced which are going to be I think outside of this new enterprise so that new enterprise it comes uh, as an addition to current uh, to current undertakings and uh, which your undertakings you I assume you do have some problems that you have to resolve well those problems are going to be resolved here at the end of the month and in generally you're going to feel quite of um, emotional satisfaction you are basically going to be happy where you are finding yourself career wise at the end of the month now in case we're talking about relationships here all right uh these cards are pointing to a huge emotional connection uh with a, a human being all right which is kind of like a, a soul bond and yet you have to proceed uh to that connection very carefully and first you need to examine the person how well they fit uh according to your uh according to your habits and according to your uh daily routine and in general uh, etc etc so you have to kind of like examine how compatible you are with this uh, person because if you go for a certain relationship either friendship one or either a intimate one uh, you will not be able to break it that easily so here the star card is pointing that whatever you do career uh, relationship wise throughout this uh, week 
uh, throughout this month excuse me is going to be long lasting one and that's why you need to be very objective you need to be very grounded and you have to be accurate kind of accountable for how good and how big compatibility you do have with that person <clears throat> and regardless at the end things are gonna happen your way so it does depend uh, what you uh, how can I place it uh, what you, what situation you are and uh, what kind of what do you want for yourself relationship wise at the end uh, of the month of February but the things definitely are gonna happen your way back then so for example if you do have problems into your marriage those problems are to be resolved as you are going to fall emotionally deeper Connect, uh, in a deeper connection emotionally with uh, your partner realizing that these wrangles are pointless and so on and so forth so <clears throat> that being said uh, Aquarius this was your uh, monthly tarot reading for February 2019 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and once again that was a general reading um, for Aquarius star sign therefore in this video I tried my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and as well there uh, synergy in the spread but uh, you got to uh, align it to your personal situation just like I did for the examples in this video for maximum accuracy now if you want me to do that for you or to analyze your personal situation through tarot cards and give you the prediction for the future uh, that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.